Why are you so moody? I'm not asking. Don't make me tell you again. If you're a parent, these are some of the cliches you tell your teens on a daily basis. Now, teeny, uh, adolescents grow into teen, teenagers grow into adolescents at rapid speed. And so I'd like to ask if any of you have gone through uh, mood swings or dramatic emotional moments, but there would be no point, as we've all gone through it. Some of us teens are probably going through it right now. Now, first, I would like to talk about our brain's chemistry. Parents are quick to blame teenagers' reckless behavior on just hormones. And even though this does play a part, there's a more logical explanation for our actions, the brain. Now, aside from addiction, there are two main study focuses of the, of the teenage brain, which is maturity and emotional control. Hopefully by the end of today, I'll be able to change your mindset on the way teens are. Now, I personally have a hard time managing my sometimes obnoxious and out of control self. I constantly fight with my parents like the last time they wouldn't let me go out with my friends or threaten to take my phone away. Now, this may seem ludicrous, but us teens, we've all been there. The next day, I would go to school and find my friends and rant about how horrible and unfair my life is. Well, despite having great friends who will listen to all my dramatics, I've realized that everyone I surround myself with at school is on the same page. This is why I started this research. Now, adults tend to think that we love driving them crazy with our reckless behavior and out of control self, but it's simply more complicated than that. It's proven that our brains are more complex than scientists first suspected. By the 2000s, brain imaging techniques had, had increased, and our impulsiveness and emotional control is due to a partially developed brain and not our hormones. Now, by age, to, uh, by age, by age six, our brain is 90 to 95% the full size. And during, however, during teenage years, we start to connect passageways between the different regions of our brain. We undergo a process called myelination. Myelination strengthens and accelerates the communication be between the different parts of our brain. However, there's a catch. Myelination starts at the very back of our brain and makes its way towards the front, which means that the first part of our brain to mature is our temporal lobe, and the very last part of our brain to mature is the prefrontal cortex. Now, this is an issue because our prefrontal cortex handles all our decision-making, planning, and self-control. Now, the next time your teens forget your books at 8 p.m. at night and realize this so late with a test the next day, this is probably why. We don't yet have the ability to tell, uh, we don't yet have the ability to think ahead of time. So tell your parents that our brain is physically not matured yet. Next, I would like to talk about the psychological and emotional controlling part of our brains. I would like for you to think back to the last time you made a really stupid decision and thought it was the best idea in the world at that time. Well, according to Scott Wooding, who's a very famous author and psychologist, he states that it's very important for us teens to feel the urge of making our own decisions. In other words, it's very important for us to feel the need of independence. So while we make these decisions, we tend to weigh the pros extremely high and yet ignore all the negative outcomes. So hopefully this makes us feel better about making these de this decisions in the first place. Now, also, a lot of parents constantly argue that we're changing the way we act, dress, and speak differently, and this is due to our friends and who we hang out with. Well, this is in fact true. According to Time Magazine, our brain undergoes a lot of plasticity, and which means that we adapt and grow depending on our environment. It's also true that our age group as teens are the most reckless and impulsive age group of all our lives. This is because the signals of our prefrontal cortex, which handles our emotions, don't get to the back of the brain enough, uh, fast enough. And so this is why us teens are going through a large emotional roller coaster of fun. Now, I personally am a very passionate person. Any movie or situation outside of my comfort zone will make me react in a variety of ways, all extremely emotional. Now, I've realized that there is a logical reasoning for behind this as well. While we undergo the process of myelination, our brain reroutes from the prefrontal cortex as it is not mature yet to the amygdala, which handles all of our emotions. So every single decision that I make is handled by my emotions. You can see how this is a problem. So emotional judgment has its own name in the scientific realm as well. It's called the limbic system. This occurs in the very beginning ages of puberty, which is ages around 10 to 12. And this is also most common where there's a mismatch between controlling our impulses and our hormones. Our, homo our hormones are also known as the motion-fueled part of our brains, otherwise known as why all hell breaks loose once we reach puberty. 
This does control our risky actions, but it, is not, it does not take responsibility for emotional outbursts. Now I'd like to state a quote from a very famous person called BJ Casey. She states this about the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex, quote, communicates with the brain's emotional centers through in intricate connections. This pretty much states that our brain is nowhere near close to full development. This is why we can't shut off our emotions. When parents are being overdramatic and saying, uh, saying that we're overdramatic and tell us to calm down a bit, tell them we're physically wired this way because we're supposed to be overdramatic. Our decisions are dependent on our emotions. So dear parents, please understand that there's a neurological reason behind our actions that may be insensible or even stupid at that time. Hopefully this will be able to change your perspective on the situations. Teenage, uh, all humans are, tend to be more sympath sympathetic when they understand the reasoning behind our own mistakes. So let us learn from our mistakes by negotiating personal boundaries and letting us take risks. By going through these natural transitions with encouraging role models, this will lead to a more positive adulthood through a different atmosphere. And teens, we aren't crazy. We're simply developing into a more mature state. In other words, our brain is a lot like a computer, constantly upgrading to prepare us for the future. More complex and in-depth upgrades simply take more time. So while we're transforming into better members of society, please be patient with us. And just like every other adult, we'll get there too. Thank you.